Some people don't mind the raw, unadulterated taste of nori. Isn't that right, Katie? Oh, no. But other people need it to be a little bit more, you know, conventional, shall we say. Which is why we uh, are doing this whole video series to make seaweed more palatable to the average person. It's great stuff. Try it out. First step is to mix together our coconut oil, maple syrup, and special gluten-free tamari soy sauce. Add one quarter cup maple syrup and one quarter cup coconut oil over medium heat. And the soya. Mmm. So this is your standard package of nori. I've got 20 sheets here. The recipe only calls for six. And it comes in these sheets. It's processed like this after being harvested in these long lines. And it actually wasn't until 1950 that they discovered uh, how the individual spores of the seaweed can be extracted and seeded onto the rope. Before that, it was all just kind of blind guessing. You want to cut up these pieces pretty small, get them down to a size where they'll mix well with the seeds and be relatively evenly spaced throughout. We got hemp seeds, rich in omega-3 and 6 acids. Uh, we're using a little bit of extra hemp seed because we don't have quite enough sesame seed. The recipe is, of course, seaweed sesame bars, but uh, hemp seed is one of the more nutritious seeds out there, so we're adding a little bit of extra. It's one and a half cup sesame seeds one and a half cups of mixed assorted seeds. And then lastly, we've got chia seeds, organic superfood with two and a half grams of omega-3 per serving. We're ready to go over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our liquid oil maple syrup mixture. Now we salt to taste. The seaweed has a natural sort of saltiness because it comes from the sea, which has salt in it. Well, I'm going to add just a little bit more because you can never have too much salt. I forgot to get the parchment paper, so we're just going to grease this pan with a little bit of coconut oil. It's already a hot pan, so now it's time for the payoff. Can you paint with all the seaweeds of the sea? You can own the earth and still all you'll own is earth until you can paint. I grew up on Disney musicals. Ah, I can hear the inspiration now, yes. I can hear that. You know, my mm. favorite one was The Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid. Seaweed is always greener in somebody else's I hardly taste any seaweed. It's all maple syrup. Yeah. Gonna pop it in for a quick 10 minutes. It'll be ready to go. you want to eat like a seasteader, you need to get on board with what the Seasteading Institute is up to. So go to seasteading.org, check out in particular the podcast Seasteading Today, which features interviews with all kinds of leading lights of the seasteading movement. Did you see the one with Ricardo Radulovic? I did, it's a great one. I remember back at the 2012 conference, he was talking about this project. And the biggest hurdle then, as I think it remains now, is creating the markets for these sea vegetables. Well. I think that uh, if people get on board and start um, buying seaweed, they'll see how easy it is to eat like a seasteader. When cooking with seaweed, it's important to use the correct safety equipment, such as a hot oven mitt, put it on the right hand. We just turned this weird green... Super gross. Mmm. No, it's not bad, actually. No, I like it. Don't tell people that it's actually not bad when you eat it raw. Oh, it's delicious. Yep. One of the things about seaweed is it's actually basically calorie free, yet at the same time delivers a major dose of nutrients, especially iodine, which you can't get hardly anywhere if you're eating sea salt. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious. Mm. 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 The seaweed taste is subtle, but it combines so nicely with the saltiness and the crunchiness that I think anyone who's skeptical of seaweed going into this is gonna to come to like it, come to appreciate it. They'll probably be snacking out of the bag before long. Tune in next time for another episode of Eating Like a Seasteader. Do you wanna be like a merman? Uh, some say that it's the tail that makes the merman. I believe that it's the heart that makes the merman. And you have the heart? I have the heart of a merman. Uh -huh.